2014 Range Rover. We did remote start yesterday, but I forgot to take the video of how to, how to take the glove box out because all the connections were down at the BCM, which is mounted behind the uh, glove box. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing you're gonna do is, you're gonna remove this air vent out. There are little hooks. Let me see if I can show you. I'm not gonna show okay so there are four tabs locking tabs the one here one here one here one there so what you do is you bend this inward away from the car side so you pull all this inward and then once you do that this thing pops out like this see once you take this out there are two screws there you see the bottom the two screws there and that okay. those are number 25 so you take them out so there are two of them there I'm gonna put this back in since I already finished the job and you take this side panel out there's a one more screw here then you open the glove box Inside, there are four screws. Let me see if I can show you. So you can see it, one right here. There's another one on this side, right there. And there's a two more behind this glove box. So what you gotta do is you gotta remove that glove box out. This lid has to come out. So how you do it is you gotta get a little pick tool. Okay, see this thing right here? You push this away from it and this whole glove box pops out. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, I got that off. It's actually, you gotta push the tab inward. So if you look at it here, there's a little hook right here. So you got to push this one in like this and this thing pops out. As you can see, there's a screw right here. And I'm going to show you on the other side, there's another one on this side. There's another one on this side right there. So once you take them out, there are more screws on the top, which is right here those are torx number 15 there's a four of them there so once you take these out you think it's done but it's not it's there are more screws underneath so i'm gonna put this back in because i don't need to show you that okay all right so underneath there are two screws here one right here one right there you take them down. There's a one more screw on this corner. You gotta take that out. And then, entire glove box comes out. So, so let's say I have this one down. All the screws out from the top, bottom, in here, side. Then this entire glove box comes out. Um. Not that difficult once you know the trick, but if you don't know where the screws are, how it comes out, it's a bit difficult. So after you put this air vent back in, you gotta push that tab is in, lock this tab, locking tab back in place. It's a plastic piece, it doesn't break. It looks like it's gonna break, but it doesn't. 